from stealing the job from a longtime BGT judge to making the wrong decision about Romeo and Icy's performance. Here's why Bruno Tonioli can never replace David Walliams on BGT. With the return of the series' 16th season to the big screen in April 2023, everyone was shocked by Bruno Tonioli sitting in David Walliams' place. Now, David's been on the show for over 10 years, and he's been entertaining for sure. But from what I'm hearing, he got a bit too comfortable in his last years on the talent show. It all went down in November 2022 when fans found out that Walliams was being inappropriate with contestants. He called one elderly participant a for making fun of him. And if you think that's bad, he said how a female contestant was like that slightly boring girl you meet at the club who thinks you want to get into her pants, but you don't. Of course, fans were out for David's blood. So he tried to defuse the situation by saying that these were private conversations with friends during BGT filming breaks in 2020 and they were never meant to be shared. But now that his comments were out in the open, he was incredibly sorry. Unfortunately, for David, the show he'd given 10 years to wasn't backing him up during this difficult time. BGT's production company Thames threw him under the bus, saying the language used was inappropriate and that those involved in the show have been reminded of their responsibilities and how the show expects them to act in the future. Even Simon Cowell spoke out against his longtime friend, saying BGT's a family show, and it doesn't support the use of such language. With the way things were going, David's job was on the line. There were rumors about his departure from the show, though nothing was confirmed until January 2023 when ITV started filming the new season at the London Palladium. Fans posted clips from the first night where Ant and Deck announced Bruno in place of David, meaning ITV had kicked Walliams off the show and instead brought in Bruno Tonioli. Sure, the network needed to make this decision, but I'm going to say what everyone's scared of saying right now, this was a bad move. Bruno Tonioli can never replace David Walliams. Sure, the Italian has the chops for the job. He spent years judging for Strictly Come Dancing and Dancing with the Stars. He's also choreographed stage shows and music videos for pop industry superstars like Sir Elton John, Tina Turner, and more. Heck, Gethin Jones, the Welsh TV presenter, thought Tonioli would kill it on the show when news of his new job started making the rounds. In his eyes, Bruno's been an entertainer for a long time. In fact, the show might have to stop him from getting up on that stage uh, and stealing the spotlight. Now, normally, someone in David's position would be pissed at Bruno for stealing their job. But the ex-judge was the first person to text Tonioli after he landed the gig. And he even sent him a fantastic bottle of Italian wine to his dressing room to welcome him on his first day on set. Though I do wish Bruno paid more attention during the meeting where they briefed him on the rules, because he pressed his golden buzzer halfway through an audition. He was too caught up in the Ghetto Kids' performance, as he was up and dancing with Alicia Dixon, with the group killing it on stage. He ended up loving the kids from Uganda so much, he pressed the buzzer before they finished, which has never happened on the show. Simon pointed it out, and Bruno only laughed and apologized, but the audience didn't mind. In fact, fans have been calling Tonioli a breath of fresh air. They think Bruno fits right in with the BGT crowd, and some were even surprised by the infectious energy he brought to the show, considering he wasn't all that impressive in his last years on Strictly Come Dancing. One fan wrote, Bruno is such a gem. Where has he been? We needed you so much, Bruno. Keep being you. Some even think this could be the best season so far all thanks to the chaos that Bruno brings to the show. Others were impressed by his passion for the job, but not everyone has been saying good things about the new judge on the block. A few BGT fans found Bruno straight up annoying, saying that David made the show worth watching and even called Tonioli a mistake. One fan tried to offer a solution to the problem, suggesting that everyone record the show and then fast forward through all of Bruno's bits. A huge chunk of the fandom talked about not watching the season and boycotting the show, saying, no David, no BGT. The question is, is the hate justified? 
Well, to be fair, Bruno did swear on live TV. He was dragged on stage for Andrew Stanton's stunt along with everyone else, and none of them were enjoying it. All four judges wanted no part of the disgusting stunt, but Bruno, for some reason, was uneasy as he ended up losing control of his tongue. The cameras picked him up, saying to Simon, Oh, fucking hell, Simon, not again? Cowell didn't hear him and asked, What? Uh, to which? Bruno replied, Not again. The Italian isn't all too happy about being asked to participate in acts on the show repeatedly. And fans find his discomfort amusing. One fan wrote, Best part of the night so far, Bruno swearing, while another wrote, Did I just hear tight? Bruno swearing live on air but others weren't too happy about the new judge's use of explicit language because BGT's a family show at the end of the day, and Bruno's not taking that seriously, first with the buzzer and now with the swearing. He's disrespecting the rules. Honestly, I'm not too surprised because the dancer has never watched the show. Bruno admitted it himself that he knew nothing about BGT before he landed the job, and was under the impression that there are no real rules other than being himself. But he found out soon enough when he pressed the golden buzzer. Even Alicia Dixon, his co-judge on the show, revealed he hasn't got the hang of the rules yet. And she's not too happy about sitting next to him either. Because in her words, Bruno's exhausting. He doesn't know how to sit still. And Alicia has what she calls Bruno bruises because he likes to grab her arm. Dixon also said she could manage a kindergarten a lot better than she could manage Bruno. Guess she misses David really bad right now. Her nine-year-old daughter suggested that she wear a fake arm, but I think that's a temporary fix because the problem with Bruno is a real one. Bruno's taking a lot of space on the show with some fans straight up asking if he's got ants in his pants. Why can't he sit still in his seat? In fact, during the second live semifinals, one Twitter fan begged for the in-charges to step in and get Bruno to sit down. His energy's not flying with the fans, which is why they booed him during the final. Ant and Deck were kicking things off on the night of the grand finale on June 4th, 2023. And when they introduced Bruce Tonioli, you could hear a mix of cheers and boos from the crowd. Viewers who watched the episode had a hard time believing it, with one fan tweeting, Have I missed something? Everyone booing Bruno on BGT? Another fan started questioning their hearing, while others were asking what Bruno did wrong to deserve the boos. No one answered those questions for us, but Thames did try to clear things up by saying there was no booing. The audience was, in fact, chanting Bruno, but I don't buy it for a second. That crowd was riled up. They even booed Simon when he told Olivia Lines she sounded nervous at the start of her performance. So I don't think they spared Bruno with the way he's been acting on the show. In fact, they slammed him for making the wrong decision and forced him to change his vote one time. It happened when the dance duo Romeo and Icy took the stage. They have everyone vibing with their street dance routine. Even Ant and Deck were dancing along. Heck, Simon Cowell appreciated the boys, saying that they had brilliant chemistry going on and everything about it was funny, but Alicia wasn't all too impressed, saying that she's seen it before and she's seen it performed better. When it came time to vote, Simon and Amanda voted to put the group through, while Alicia stuck to her guts, which made the deciding vote fall in Bruno's lap, and much to everyone's disappointment, he sided with Alicia. The fans were pissed and they started protesting, with Romeo and Icy egging them on. Bruno started feeling the pressure and finally decided to give in, as he realized he made the wrong choice. So, from making the wrong decision about Romeo and Icy's performance to stealing the job from a longtime BGT judge, that's why Bruno Tonioli can never replace David Walliams on BGT.